going on guys? It's your boy Justin from the J Media and I'm back with another video. So today we'll be heading to Marco's place for an install in his white body 370Z. I have my puppy Bella over here with me today because uh, her good friend Latte is over there which is Marco's, well I guess Marco's girlfriend Brittany, that's her dog. Um, but yeah, he will be installing a front splitter. So some of you OG subscribers might know Marco used to have a front splitter set up on his 370Z. Uh, it's from Z splitters. He came off unfortunately he still has a splitter but what he's trying to do is he just got some battle arrow chassis mounts so he's gonna chassis mount the front splitter and just yes. got here ken and marco already drinking before Sorry, starting a car stuff <laughs> <laughs> all right so marco's 370z is over here so he already had it jacked up on jack stands some stuff mocked up with the side splitter i mean the splitter so you guys og subscribers remember the splitter some stands already on there. Oh, it's pretty sturdy. So it's uh, two stands on right now. Is it two more stands? Yeah, two more on the fenders. It's gonna be pretty sturdy. Are you gonna run this as well? Splitter rod. Nice. So yeah, uh, what we're gonna do is we have the um, cut some parts of the front bumper. Uh, so I brought a grinder. Why do we have to cut it? Uh, to let the splitter uh, lay flat and flush on the bumper. Okay. You know the 13 and up bumpers have a curve on it. So yeah, the third, the 2013 and up 370Z has a little like on the bumper has a little like I guess right here, curve on the bottom. Like that, yeah. So because of that, he's gonna cut it and level it out with the front splitter. Yeah. Damn, and big brakes over here. Again, if you guys didn't watch some of the older video, I did say Marco is setting up his uh. 370Z, the big brick kit. So, this is the from the Nismo, right? Yeah, it's a Nismo Akebono made. Nismo Akebono big brick kit. Four pot on the fronts, two pots on the rear, as well as the rotors that just came in. Yep. Some uh, drill and slotted rotors. Ooh, huge. this is a huge. What size are they? 14 inches on there. It's so big. Heavy. Yeah, on the fronts are very heavy. So, big brakes. And the front bumper, so I see that, uh, so I came a little late, but Marco was doing some stuff today. So I think he just, yeah, he just sprayed paint the M on the Mishimoto oil cooler. Yeah, I was going to do it. And I'm guessing over here, the tape is where you want to cut it? Yes, sir. So, yeah, painter's know. tape is going to cut it. Okay, so I was saying earlier that there was a little curve. So what I mean is, you can really if you look at it flat, this part kind of goes down a little bit. So, if you draw a straight line... That's exactly where we're cutting it. So, um, I know every time we do crazy DIY stuff, we always get a lot of people hating on it. <laughs> but, sometimes when you DIY, number one, cost is more cost effective, it's cheaper. Number two, you're going for a different look. So exactly what Marco's 370Z is all about, standing out, being different. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks different. I mean, yeah, one of one. <laughs> So yeah, he's gonna chop it off. So what do you wanna do first? Get the cutting first? Yeah, we'll cut the bumper now already. Get okay. The shit out of the way. So we're just cutting here on in the other side and that's it or are you cutting anywhere else? That's it. Just that's it. Two sides. And then the front bumper, is it ready to go on or do we have to mount more stuff? Yeah, we're gonna have to uh, drill through the splitter, mount the hardware on there, and then line it up and see if everything's good and the line's straight. Nice. So measure twice. But once. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, <laughs> we're ready. So we're setting up the grinder right now. This good old grinder has uh, helped us putting the white body on. If you guys didn't know, we did the white body at my place. Me and Marco, again, no experience. Did it ourselves. Uh, done a bunch of cutting work. So let's get to cutting it. Alright, so Marco cut both sides and right now he's peeling off the painter tape. So like I say, he painted the Mishimoto today with spray paint. So he pretty much just masked it out with painter tape and newspaper and just sprayed it all on. So yeah, once you take off all the tape, you should just review the uh, M, which stands for Mishimoto. Hater, look at that shit. Hater, that movie is famous. Yeah. <laughs> I made mean, it look like I just put it on again. Hater's gonna hate. But if y'all saw it on the J, 
J Media channel, we installed this shit a long time ago. Yep, so the oil cooler, if you guys didn't know, we installed it on Marcos 370Z a while back. Uh, the install video is in the how to DIY video playlist, so you guys can check that out. But, ooh, oh. with the M, it looks so much better. Brand new. Well, it's been there, it's just fading just away. Spray painting <laughs> after oh, a few years. Yeah, for the years that I've had it on, and it's still working. So, Marco got a huge inspiration from the old school Datsun Z's. They have it front mount, so that's what he's doing. Most oil cooler is hidden behind the front bumper. All right, so pretty much Marco shaved down the sides and we aren't gonna do too much today. So uh, we're gonna take a break. Like I said, Marco has done quite a few stuff today uh, off camera. And tomorrow, what's your game plan tomorrow? You say you're gonna so try to mount it? We're gonna go drill the splitter. We have to cut first for the LEDs to pass. So one little thing to note is, if you look at it here, you can see the little LED light sticking out. Uh, we did not know that <laughs> It kind of dangles all the way down Forgot. so basically the splitter will still go right on so right now you see it's one straight line but we would have to cut a little hole just uh you know that that what's up <laughs> juan and min just showed up hey, hey. yo man hey, shots hey. Oh, yo. shots on the late comers <laughs> hennessy we've been almost done, done, bro. Bro. Hey, done. Dude, bro the we last time i had a shit i don't remember <laughs> make this a night you, not to remember so, yeah. uh, but in order to get it running on the road, we have to put the front bumper on and we're trying to get this uh, front splitter put on with the chassis mounts. So we're trying to get that done first before we can set the bumper on and go for a test drive. So right now Marco just marking out all the holes to drill it into the splitter. And what we're going to do is just pretty much using a drill and just uh, drill the holes and attach the chassis mount. Alright, so finished drilling the holes on the front splitter, but what we had to do was we trimmed the front bumper and basically what we had, this LED light is kind of long, so we're going to use the Sharpie to mark out a little hole and we're going to cut a hole in this splitter. Okay, front splitter is back. Like I said, we cut out some holes for the LED lights to go through. Right now, they are the chassis mounts, so they are four mounts from battle arrow so one over here there's one more on here that go on the site something like that So pretty much got this bracket on and then right now I just put on this bracket. So like I said the mounts from Battle Arrow, one here, one here, and then two more on that side. Ooh, the stand test. Dang, look, standing on the splitter. So Marco is standing on the splitter. Chassis mounted, super strong. Alright, so I'm back at home. So basically the front splitter installed took two days. Um, two separate days because we decided to add the first day early so if you guys were wondering why I was in a green jacket at first and then I switched to this tan jacket it's because it was two separate days that we did the install uh, it can be done in one full day um, but like I said we just had dinner plans so we decided not to continue um, but yeah with the front splitter if you guys are wondering where he got it from there was an old setup uh, from Z splitters uh, the Changed their name to Ventus Auto Works now, so I'm gonna link the Instagram right here if you guys are curious where to get the front splitter from. Uh, as for the mounts, so with his front splitter, he had it just mounted on the front bumper using some bolts, um, but right now he's having it chassis mounted, so you can also buy Battle Arrow chassis mounts. So I'm gonna link Battle Arrow's uh, you know, Instagram right here as well if you wanna check them out. So what chassis mounts mean is the front splitter is not to the bumper, so sometimes when you have your front lips or front bumper, uh, or front splitters on your bumper, it might have a chance of coming off. But once it's chassis mounted, it is actually to the metal frame of the car. It is really strong. So at the end of the video, you guys saw Marco standing on the splitter. Um, but yeah, 
all in all, I prefer the front splitter setup personally. Uh, glad to see it back on the car. So if you guys want to stay tuned for more DIY videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Um, my car as well as Marcos 370Z, pretty much the whole build process is on my YouTube channel. A lot of DIY videos are on my playlist, how to DIY videos. So be sure to check that out. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.